Hey Downey students, it's Miss G coming to you for our weekly art lessons. Um, I just wanted to let you know really quickly that I do have office hours as you can see at the bottom. So what that just means is you can email me anytime on Monday between 11 and 12 and Wednesday from 11 to 12 and I'll get back to you right away. So you can email me at my email, which is Laura, L-A-U-R-A, Giovanello, G-I-O-V-A-N-N-E-L-L-O, at bpsma.org. You can also email me any other time. You just might not receive a response immediately back. Okay, so here are our lessons for this week. This time, um, they have been broken up into um, categories. So there's not one for every grade. Um, they're broken up into categories. And again, you can feel free to do any art lessons you want. You don't have to do um, just what is there. You can feel free to explore and do as many things as you want. Um, and don't forget to share with me and show me what you're doing. Okay, so let's take a look. So <clears throat> for kindergarten, first and second grade, you are going to watch the book When Pig Pigasso Met Mutis. Um, and this is um, all the, these projects this week um, for these ones are about Picasso and how he was a cubist painter and he had this style called cubism and you'll notice that all of the portraits a lot of the portraits he does in this period were all very um, had sharp angles and lots of shapes and they were bright and colorful and they were not realistic at all okay you can see that in the one that is right below me so you're gonna read the book um, and there is a link here, which you can't click on the link if you're watching my YouTube video, but I do have all of the links in the description of my YouTube video, as well as on my Clever page. And then you can also find the links on the main Brockton Public Schools website. So if you go to bpsma.org, just type that into the bar at the top, and then you click on, um, I think it says learning from home, and then you click on art, It'll have this week's lessons on there as well, and you can find the actual links that way, or you can just go into your computer and type exactly what you see, okay, on the screen. So https colon backslash backslash bit.ly backslash mutis. So that's how you're going to get to listen to the story. Um, you can also probably just go to YouTube and type in when Picasso met Mutis, and you'll probably find it there. After you listen to the story, you're going to follow along and try to create your own Picasso portrait using this link below. <clears throat> so it's again bit.ly backslash CYO, which stands for create your own Picasso. Okay, so that's for kindergarten, first, and second grade. For grades three, four, and five, you are going to watch the video about Picasso here. Again, another bit.ly backslash about Picasso. Then you're going to follow along with either video and create your own cubist portrait in the style of Picasso. So both those are really helpful too. Another CYO Picasso too and then draw Picasso for the second one. So um, that, is a, that is your first projects. <clears throat> your second one, and here's a helpful worksheet too, you can always um, press pause right now on this YouTube video and you can stop and watch. Um, you can stop and use this worksheet to help you. Okay, here's the second round of projects. So this is for kindergarten and first grade, a little egg hunt. Since it is spring, um, you can very easily make these very cute little chicks and eggs. So you're going to just use a nice rainbow line as we talk about and fill your whole paper. And then you're gonna do a second row of rainbow lines and a third row. You can fill up your whole paper. Then you can decide how many of your shapes do you want to turn into eggs, how many do you want to make into chickens, little chicks, and maybe you want to make a little rooster as we can see in the picture there. When you're done drawing it with pencil, you can color it in however you want. You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, paint, whatever you have at home to color it in. Okay, don't forget to add lots of decorations to your eggs. Add lots of shapes and textures and colors and patterns. Don't forget, right? Even if you don't have anything to color with, you can still use a pencil and add lots of shapes and textures and lines. Remember kindergarten and first grade, we spent a lot at the beginning of the year 
learning about different types of lines. Okay, for thir uh, second, third, fourth, and fifth, another project you can do this week is you can make a Minecraft selfie. Now, <clears throat> this project was done using graph paper, which you may have used in math, and graph paper is the one that has all the lines already on it. Now, if you don't have one of those, you can, of course, make your own graph paper by just um, using a ruler or something straight. So even if you don't have a ruler at home, you could find a notebook, um, you could find, uh, have right next to me um, a notepad with a straight edge, and I can just hold this up to my paper and use my pencil and make straight lines. Um, <clears throat> once you have all the lines in the background, you're going to use those squares to create your selfie. And if you go to this website, they'll show you exactly how to do it. Again, bit.ly backslash Minecraft self portrait, all one word, no caps. Okay, so I'd love to see what you do. And don't forget, you can email me. I'm going to go back to the first slide so you can see my email address again. Um, I'd love to see your email. I'd love to get an email from you and see what you have been up to and um, or just to hear from you just so you can say hi. So don't forget to email me. You can also um, contact me, like I said, on those business hours. All right, everyone have a good week and I will talk to you soon. Bye friends.